Welcome to our e-learning video on the subject of coalition government. In this video, we will explore what coalition government is, how it works, and its advantages and disadvantages. A coalition government is a type of government in which two or more political parties form an alliance to govern together. It is usually formed when no single party has enough seats to form a majority in parliament or when a single party is unable to govern effectively. Coalition governments are common in parliamentary democracies, where the government is formed by the party or parties that can command a majority in the parliament. In such systems, the head of the government is usually the leader of the largest party, who is appointed as the prime minister. However, if no single party has a majority, then the parties must negotiate and form a coalition government to govern. Now let's discuss how a coalition government works. In a coalition government, the political parties that form the coalition come together to form a shared platform, which outlines the policies that the coalition will pursue. This shared platform is known as a coalition agreement, and it sets out the policies and programs that the government will undertake. The coalition agreement is usually negotiated between the parties that are forming the government, and it may include provisions that reflect the interests of all the parties involved. Once the coalition agreement is agreed upon, the parties in the coalition will allocate positions in the government, such as ministerial positions, to members of the coalition. One advantage of coalition government is that it can create a more stable government. Since the government is composed of multiple parties, there is a wider range of support for the government, and it is less likely that any single party will withdraw its support and cause the government to collapse. Additionally, coalition governments may be more representative of the views of the electorate, as the policies of the government are the result of negotiations between multiple parties. However, coalition governments can also have disadvantages. For example, since the policies of the government are negotiated between the parties in the coalition, it can be difficult to implement policies that are not supported by all parties in the coalition. This can result in policy compromises that may not be ideal for any of the parties involved. Furthermore, coalition governments can be less efficient than single-party governments, as decisions may take longer to be made due to the need for negotiation and compromise between the parties in the coalition. This can also make it harder for the government to act quickly and decisively in times of crisis. In some cases, coalition governments can lead to instability and even the collapse of the government. This can happen when one of the parties in the coalition withdraws its support or when the parties are unable to agree on a common policy platform. In conclusion, coalition governments can provide stability and represent the views of a wider range of people. However, they can also be less efficient and compromise on policies. Understanding the advantages and disadvantages of coalition government is important for anyone interested in politics as coalition governments are becoming more common in many countries around the world. Thank you for watching our e-learning video on coalition government. We hope that you found this video informative and useful. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more educational content.